Hello, my name is John Farkas. I'm a sales engineer with Palo Alto Networks. The purpose of this video is to show an applied real-world demonstration of the dynamic address object feature introduced in PanOS 5 in conjunction with an external orchestration and node management tool like Puppet Labs. So as you can see here, as I have a firewall policy open that shows some rules where I have a source of a dynamic address object called Windows. I have another rule where another dynamic address object is defined for Linux. I will log into the firewall and show the dynamic address objects for that Linux dynamic address object type. There's already one populated to the firewall. What I'm going to do is show in the background my virtual center. I'm going to have, I've got Puppet Labs installed on a VM. And I'm going to log into the CLI of Puppet Labs and I'm going to have Puppet is going to reach out to the vCenter and deploy a new virtual machine using that CentOS template. So I have a script that I wrote Puppet create. I will post this script to DevCenter. I'm going to run that script which is going to show us everything that it, the tasks that it does. It'll create a new VM instance using Puppet it'll set up the new VM with a minimal amount of user interaction it's going to add the VM to the puppet node list and then update the Palo Alto firewall with information about that host so puppet the script has read all the available templates on the vSphere server so I have this CentOS template which is pre-built obviously uh, I will post a link to the site that shows how to pre-build a template for deploying with Puppet. Enter that. We will call this app server one. And the script will then prompt us to confirm. Now, as you can see in the background here, I'll move the SSH window. The script has orchestrated Puppet to reach out to the vCenter server. It is cloning the virtual machine from that template. takes about one minute per stage. It then boots the VM. Now it has take, seen that the VM is booted. It's asking for a user with which to log into that new VM created from the template. This, of course, would be pre-populated in the template, so I'm going to log in as root. It's going to transfer another script, which I will also post, called first boot. It's going to reach out and actually run that first boot script. And now I'm executing on the remote, on the new app server one. 
So I'll tell him his name should be app-server1. Okay. The VM is going to create new SSH keys, part of a standard best practice for deploying new VMs to wipe the SSH keys. Okay, at this point the puppet agent on the VM that's been deployed is initializing and is creating a certificate and reaching out to the puppet master. So I'll move this window over and right here I have the puppet node master which I will refresh. And now there's a node request pending from App Server 1. I'll accept that request and allow the script to continue. The puppet agent on the remote machine is now gathering all the information about that VM. Forwarding it up to the puppet master. The script is now parsing that information out of the puppet master puppet database. And that last line you see right here, dynamic update success. It has forwarded that information up to the firewall which takes approximately 60 seconds to refresh its dynamic address updates. So and there it is. The address has been updated in the table on the firewall and I will now go to the console of that new app server one I'll log in as root and I'll just do a yum update Don't even actually need to complete that. I'll switch back over to the firewall and I will filter the logs for traffic on this allow yum for dynamic servers. Give it a second for the sessions to time to complete. And there we have the address 192.168.192.128 which is that new app server one Linux VM being allowed on the rule allow yum for dynamic servers and in the course of 10 minutes we have gone from discussion to production ready we're using dynamic address objects and puppet my name is John Farkas I will be posting all these scripts up to Dev Center thank you very much